Shante Ape. I'm Peitu Kinle, Shante Washte. I am State Senator Mary Kunish, and I am so excited to see all of you out here, to see these teepees on our Capitol lands. Thank you, Rory. Wake them up once again for your incredible ability to bring our communities together in a way that makes us proud here at the Capitol. We have to remember this land is and was the Dakota lands, the homelands of our people. We shared it with our Anishinaabe brothers and sisters, our Ho-Chunk brothers and sisters, and so many more. And it is our responsibility, not just as indigenous people, but as elected officials, to make sure that we are making decisions at that Capitol, in that building behind us, that are going to have positive consequences for the next seven generations. I come from a long line of strong, proud Lakota Standing Rock folks. And one of the first things I learned from my grandpa was that we take care of what is ours. That when we go someplace, when we use something, when we do something, we leave it in better condition than we found it. And with this line three, Enbridge line three, running through our state, through fragile ecosystems, crossing 220 some bodies of water, when there are frack outs, when there are spills already. One day it was nine frack outs. The next day we were told it was 12 frack outs. The very next day it was 28. Well, we now know that there are more that haven't even been told about. And this is not allowable in any way, shape, or form. So I have with me partners in pushing against line three. I have partners behind me. I have my Anishinaabe sister here. We're speaking for our, our sister, Heather Keeler, up in Moorhead. We're speaking for the lieutenant governor to say, no line three. No line three. And I'm speaking for all of our missing and murdered indigenous women. who we have lost generation after generation after generation. There is not a one of us in this crowd, there is not a one of us Native American people who have not lost a great grandmother, a grandmother, a mother, a sister, a cousin, a loved one. And this is the historic trauma we carry to this day. And we have to end it here. We absolutely have to end it now. The women came to the uh, permit hearings and said, it's gonna happen. It always happens in the extracting uh, communities. When you bring thousands of men who have time on their hands, when they have money in their pockets, what happens every single time? It's our vulnerable communities, it's our women that go missing at higher rates than any other. It is those women who have the violence that changes their trajectory in their life, that changes the DNA in their bodies, that passes it on to the next generation. And so here in Minnesota, while we have created a Missing and Murdered Indigenous Task Force, we have created a permanent office in this state government, it is not enough. Because as long as Enbridge has these pipelines running through the veins of Mother Earth, this will happen again and again. And we tell ourselves, we tell our community, we tell Enbridge and the extracting industry, our sisters are not for sale. Between February and June, there were two 
sex trafficking stings. And that's, that, that, those stings netted men that were out there looking uniquely, specifically, intentionally for Native American women. Some of those men that were caught were Enbridge men. Even though Enbridge will say, we do this training, we tell them don't do it, how are you going to control 4,000 men that come into our state in one place? Impossible. So once again, I tell Enbridge, and I tell the extracting industry, and, and I tell our communities, our Native American women are not for sale. So I'm going to end here, and I, what I would like to do is just have my, my um, uh, legislative allies, your legislative allies, step up to the microphone. I'd like them to introduce themselves, tell you what district they come from, and know that these are our supporters in the legislature, in our communities, in the treaties, and in Indian land. So Chimigwich, Wopalatanka, Pinigigi, Piamia, thank you so much for being here and supporting the rights of our Native Americans and the treaties of the United States of America.